feels good to be a gangster. No, no bucket, no bad bucket, no. Look, if he does that again, hit him with that rolled up newspaper. Yeah, it works, but it good. Well, why did you think it was just sitting there by the camera for crying out loud? Oh, hello, uh, my name is Afumancho. Well, a lot has happened recently. Number one, I got over my head trauma after about, oh, I don't know, a few days of intense agony and pain. Number two, I found out that that Batman figure that I bought really is that color. I, I thought maybe I was messed up or something, but no. Apparently they messed up when they painted him and decided to paint him pink, purple, and blue. Um, number three, I've been having a little trouble with a living, I guess, or something. A guy moved into my house. Yeah, he lived here originally. I melted him down in a bucket, and now he's back. Ugh. You ever have people like that that come over and you're like, Hey, I put you in the bucket for a reason. Go away. Ugh. But anyway, he's back. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure you saw at the beginning there, he's been a handful. I mean, he, he number one, number one, he's not house trained, for crying out aloud. And you know what shows up really well in the white world? Yeah, that. Anyway, yeah, there's that. And uh, he doesn't talk. He just kind of growls at me and does a lot of this. <sighs> So you can see that can be kind of unnerving. So I have decided to get him a vocal coach or somebody to teach him how to talk. So, uh, hey, hey, he's in there right now actually trying to teach him. I think it's the first meeting. So let's sneak in there and see what it's like. Okay, let's go. Hello, little man. Boy, I sure heard a bunch about you. See, I was a good friend of your dad's. Oh boy, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Um, anyway, what, what, what number was I on? What, 50? Uh, okay, and the 50th thing that has happened recently is, well, the Foo Bar is open for business! That's right. Now, here at the Foo Bar, well, you can sit back, have a drink, whatever you like to drink. Shut up, Mr. Evil Cheese, I know you like to drink. I know! Goodness, anyways... Yeah, you can sit back, have a drink, you know, relax, you know, pet the kitty poster right there. Yeah, you can pet it. I don't know why, it's a poster, it feels like paper. But anyway, here at the Foo Bar, we talk more. Well, not more. Well, I guess we do. We talk more. Ha! There, we talk more. How could you say that possibly could be true? Because I talk a lot as it is. Anyway, here, here at the Foo Bar, we talk about more than just toys. That's right. So, let's see. What would you say we would talk about at the food bar? Well, you know, you go to the water cooler and you say, Hey, fellows, what happened to you today? And they say, hey, not much. I'm bored. And you go, hey, let's go to the food bar and talk about it. That's, that's the sort of talking that you do there. And since you talk more about toys, you can sit back and you can go, Hey, did you see the new Jurassic Park World whatever cruddy... What is it called, Tra Jurassic World? Did you see the new Jurassic World... You know, I'm going to have a hard time saying that from now on, because, you know, we're so used to saying Jurassic Park. They couldn't say Jurassic Park World. That would be better. Hey, did you see the new Jurassic World trailer? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the trailer starts kind of typically. You know, it's weird that so many different movies start the same way in trailers. You know, and this scene is always seems to be cut out of the main movie. I don't know why they put it on the trailer, but they always seem to. But anyway... It goes from that typical beginning to this creepy lady. I'm really proud of you for going on this trip. You're going to have so much fun. And remember, if something chases you, run. Oh, yeah, real good parenting skills there, Mom. Oh, my goodness. You know, as they say in MSDs, does the fact that it's universal make it legendary? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so it starts out like this on the world. And look at that boat. Oh, my goodness. I want a boat like that. And right about there, my heart just, like, it started beating really fast. That was awesome. And then there's that little blonde kid. And I feel like I'm at Disneyland. That's cool. Yeah, it is the park. Red Park. He's not in this movie. It's open. Okay, so let's go. Oh, look, compass. Look at him running. Those weren't compass. I don't know what those were. But, uh, oh, look, they're in hamster balls. Now, that's new. Okay, that's pretty cool to me. And there's a bridge. Oh, there's a tram. Now, 
it's about at this part that you're going, what the heck is going on? Obviously, I know they're going to feed something. Holy cow! Oh my gosh, it's SeaWorld for dinosaurs. That is so amazing. Oh, hello, Mr. Steven Spielberg. Put me in a movie, please. Um, we have learned more in the past decade from genetics than a century of digging up bones. Yeah, you could have just rented the first three Jurassic Park movies. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. Ooh, I like her. Strawberry Fields or Gretel from Hansel and Gretel. She went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea. Star-Lord! Hello, Star-Lord. Where's your red coat? She's 40 feet high. Really think she climbed out. Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? I know a guy that just dresses just like that. He's pretty cool. <laughs> Evacuate the island. She's oh, crap. a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Oh, God. Okay, now, alien. Oh, my gosh, there goes Disneyland. Now, I think it's official. They made Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, crap. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, the only way that scene could have been cooler is if it was a ghost rider or something riding that motorcycle. That's awesome! So you know how, like, when you see a trailer that you really like and you think, Oh my gosh, that looks amazing! You know what? They don't even have to release the movie. Honestly, I could just watch that trailer and be happy. You know, if Star-Lord was wearing his mask, I think that would be cool. But you know what? He's going to be awesome. Anyways, with or without the mask, you got Gretel from Hansel and Gretel. She's running around. Too bad they didn't get Jeremy Renner to run around with her. That would have been amazing. Wow, that trailer looked cool, and we still didn't even get to see what the big dinosaur was, the genetically created Godzilla monster. I can't wait to see that. But anyway, that's the sort of stuff we talk about at the Fubar. Yeah! So, that and we'll answer questions. Any questions you might have, if you have a question for the Fubu, uh, I can't talk. If you have any questions for the Fubar, just... Send it to me, and I will see if it's good enough to answer. And if it's not good enough, I'll ignore it. Yeah, because here at the FUBAR, I can do what I want. So, you're probably saying, wow, seven minutes, and you still haven't even gotten to the review. Well, it's not going to be much of a review, but let's see what I got today, shall we? Today's review will be on the damn toys. Oh, look at there. There's Bane from Batman going, hello, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, I can't do that and not put the put my hand over my mouth. Let's see it. Let me try that again. Hello, Mr. Wed. How are you? Okay. Yes, this is Fu Manchu doing uh, Ben's voice. <laughs> Doesn't sound like him, but hey, it sounds like Fu. Anyway, there's Ben's mask looking pretty cool. And if you look up here, it says, We all go to hell. See you in hell. Well, that's redundant. And it, we have Gangster's Kingdom. Now, you're probably saying, Don't you have them all by now? No, I don't have them all by now. And if you'll notice, this is one I didn't think I would ever get. It is... Spade J, yeah, and if you look in his ear, he has a comma. Yeah, he's got a comma in his ear. They should have called him Spade Comma. Maybe that is a Spade Comma. That's kind of cool. Now, you're probably saying, hey, don't you already have a Spade J? Yes, I do, but mine is only the original head on a made-up body with a made-up outfit. And so he's not original, and I never got the original, so this one is actually the second version of him. Now, you're probably saying, wasn't the... A uh, fake one that you made good enough? Well, it was, but I wanted the original, so here we go. What's your opinion? Oh, he doesn't like it. He, what's he saying? Hmm, I think he's saying that. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. There's the box looking pretty cool, and as you can see, it's still sealed in plastic. So, I haven't opened this yet, so if I open it up and he's all cross-eyed or he's missing pieces or he's broken, you know, hey, look, you're going to be just as surprised as I am. So, let's look at the back of the package. Now here's the back of the package, and if you'll notice, this picture here is very awesome indeed. Now a lot of people in reviews say, hey look, it's the opening scene from Leon the Professional. Yeah, well it is. It must be because it looks exactly the same to me. So obviously, Sped J has been watching a lot of movies, and he got some inspiration. But what's weird about this picture is, as, as you can see it right here, I mean, you can highly, you can see it perfectly, but if you turn the box even a little bit, look at this. Well, it's making a liar out of me. If you turn it, it's actually shiny silver, and it vanishes really easily. You 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 can't see it in a lot of ang from a lot of angles. It just looks like a gray box. But anyway, there it is, looking pretty cool. And 
And I say we look at the front one more time. So here's the front one more time. Now, the original spade box was all black, I believe, with like a red, with a red spade symbol and a red J, I believe, or a white spade symbol and a red J. I, I don't know. But uh, it didn't have like these little cherubs and weird little like sculpture things in the background because that's what that is. You can't really see it yet. But when I pull off the plastic, you'll see it. And you can see there, it's got his little symbol from the back of his coat. That is an awesome symbol. But we'll get into that in a minute. But there it is, looking pretty cool. And I say we open it! Now, like always, these boxes do not stay open on their own. And this one, man, this one is very stiff because of the uh, the edge there. I, it, uh, you can tell this is new. But anyway, here's, uh, he's going to help me out here, even though I doesn't want to. <laughs> here's the inside of the box, and then there's his symbol there. There's the one on the back of his jacket, and then it's got a little blurb there about him. Now, this blurb is the exact same as the original uh, Spade J's box, or Spade Jack, or whatever, and, uh, it's weird about the cathedral thing in the background there, it looks like a church or something, I don't know, and then over here, you've got that same picture again, and then there's his card, now the card is a little different than the first one too, just like the box, they changed it just a little bit, so if you look at this, uh, if you look at, uh, Jack there, look at the way he looks, and then compare it to the original card, now, I was never able to get the original Spade J card, but if you look, it's totally different. Not just his outfit is painted different, but the other one's wearing sunglasses and stuff like that, so they actually redid the drawing, and I think that is very awesome. Now, back to the review. Okay, now, if you remove this plastic, plasticky top here, you will find... The figure hiding in some styrofoam. Yeah, looking very cool indeed. Now, check him out. Man, oh man. Now, <laughs> I never thought I would have this because, number one, this is a convention exclusive from, like, China or something. I don't know where it came from. But, uh, anyway, I never thought I would have it, and it's awesome and stuff, but it's limited to 300 worldwide. Now, that's pretty weird. Okay, so let's pull him out, shall we? Now, as I always say, here he is, frozen in carbonite, waiting for Bush to... Thaw him out, and behind this styrofoam, you will find his accessories, which look amazing. I love that bag. That is so awesome. Now, I love bags like that anyway. I carry one myself, and, and I just think it's awesome. But I really like the one that came with the original Spade J even more. Uh, this one's cool, but it's like a different version of that bag. It's, it's not just a different co color. It's actually a different bag altogether. Then over here is his wallet and chain. And then above that you have his hat, which is this time made out of plastic instead of, like, leather wrapped or something. Faux leather wrapped. And then there's his middle finger, which he's apparently got on mine, too. There's his sunglasses, which is awesome. And then over here he has a switchblade, which looks very cool. There's his gun with two clips. And then there's... Oh, check it out. He's got a Nathan Drake gun holster. I mean, that one looks like Nathan Drake's. That's awesome. And that's it. But he actually comes with more than the original Spade J did, and I think that is awesome. So let's pull him out, shall we? Now here's Spade Jack, fresh out of the package, and just stood straight up. Now, the only thing you had to do fresh out of the package was, he had a bag over his head, and he had two little bags over his hands, so you have to pull those off. Now, the little bags on his hands are actually connected through the pegs that connect the hands to the wrists. So you probably have to pop the hands off the wrist pegs or whatever, but that's okay. Now, anyway, here is the exclusive version of Spade Jack by Dan Toys. Now, this was a convention exclusive or something over in China, I believe. I could be wrong. I don't know. But, uh, you know, they said that they were made uh, 300. They were limited to 300. These aren't numbered on the box, which is kind of strange. you think they would be. I wish they were. That would be actually pretty cool. But the fact that they, you know, that the figure exists. <laughs> Here's one! Okay. I don't know what number I got, but let's just pretend he's there. Right there. There, I see him. <laughs> anyway, he looks amazing. And like I said, I really wanted the original Spade Jack. And, um, you know, this one, I found out really quickly that this one was way cheaper. And the day that I bought this one, I actually could have bought an original Spade J. But that one would have cost like $200 more. Now, for $200, that's cool and all. That's a lot of money. But for $200, cheaper... And this one probably has more, you know, it has more accessories. It's probably made better. They probably fixed a lot of the problems. And, you know, plus it's new. The other one that I could have bought was used. Now, he doesn't come with a stand, obviously. His name is not Roadblock. 
But, uh, yeah, the other one was opened, and, you know, you don't know if you're getting original parts and this and that and blah, 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 so you would always doubt that. But, hey, this one's brand new, freshly opened by me, and here he is looking pretty cool. And like I said, it was $200 cheaper, so it's, you know, a no-brainer. Uh, plus, this outfit just looks cool. Number one, the original one only came with, like, a long sleeve shirt. This one comes with a t-shirt, like a short sleeve black t-shirt, and a like a hooded sweatshirt. And then he's got the scarf, he's got the same necklace, I think it's the same necklace. And then he's got a similar jacket. Now this one has a different build to it, the way it's put together. The uh, brown original one actually is different. This one's cool too, though I mean it's roughly the same kind of coat. It doesn't have the same kind of like strap on the collar and stuff, and the zippers are in different places and stuff like that. So it is different. But uh, same thing with the jeans. The jeans look very similar, but they are different. The boots, I think the boots are the exact same mold as the original, but these are painted a little different, and uh, it almost looks like this one has more weathering or more more highlights and stuff, because like you can see on his coat how it looks like it's um, got like worn. You know, it's just faded looking and stuff like that. But anyway, and I really like that scarf. He looks pretty cool with that scarf on. Now, if you look at the back of the figure, you will notice... Ooh, check it out. If I can get it in the right light so we can see it. Let me move his hood. Now, tucking his hood up around his head, which makes him look kind of silly. But anyway, there it is looking pretty cool. Now, one of the things that I noticed about this is this skull actually looks like it has hair. Yeah, that's a very, like, 80s a heavy metal skull there, if you ask me. And it's, you know, obviously it's a spade symbol, but the spade symbol's behind the hair, so he's got, like, long hair there. Now, I don't know anything about that. That's kind of cool. And, uh, but yeah, that's a very neat picture. It almost looks like he's got a snake tongue there coming out at the bottom. But that's just a cool picture. So, let's look at the figure's face up close. So here we are looking at the inside of a softball, and wait, no, hold on, that's his scarf. Okay, there's his scarf up close, and it's so cool how they make all these small little details and stuff. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. I mean, these are real clothes for little tiny people. But yeah, there's his jacket looking very cool indeed. If we go down here, let's look at his hand before we go to his face. Oh, there's his hand looking pretty cool. Now, they even airbrush like the knuckles and stuff like that. Okay, let's go up here and look at his face. Oh, where is it? Where is it? There's his chin. Oh, very Jason Statham. -y. Look at that. They like airbrush the little freckles and the shading and the dots and stuff like that on it. Man, that looks pretty cool to me. Look at that detail. He's got little fuzzies on him, but hey, he's fresh out of the box. What do you want? And then there's his brow. This one's got a lot more freckling than the original one that I have, I believe. I'm not 100% on that. But anyway, let's look at its eyes here, if we can get them in the light. It's, this is the hardest part, is getting their eyes in the light. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, because I'm tilting this as much as I can. Look at his eyes. That is awesome. Can't believe how well they do that. Now, this one looks like he's got brown eyes. Does the original Spade J have brown eyes? I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. Let's look at the other one. Okay, here's the, the custom one that I put together. And if you look, he's got the freckling, but it's not quite as much. And then let's look at his eyes here. I thought they were green. Yeah, look. They're not necessarily brown. They're like green. So they changed his eye color, I think. Or I'm crazy. That looks green to me. I was thinking in my head. I thought he had green eyes, but Jason Statham, does he have brown eyes? I think he does. I'm not 100% on that, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe they changed it more for Jason Statham. I don't know. I know they just kind of copy their likenesses, but I know that Colin Farrell had the right color eyes. But anyways, let's go back to the other one. Yeah, these are definitely not the same color eyes. Now, I've never heard anybody mention that before, but there you go. The new Spade J has different colored eyes, so there you go. Now, working down from his face and going down to his other hand, you will see his tattoo on his finger, which says, Sintines. Sintines! No, sentence. Yes, there you go. That's pretty cool. Now, that's a neat little feature there. Um, since I never bought the original's hands, I never had that, so that's cool. And underneath his clothes, which I'm not going to take his clothes off, but he actually has tattoos and scars and bullet holes all in his chest that look a little like this. Now, underneath his shirt, you will find the loyalty tattoo, and then a lot of scars and bullet holes in his chest. Now, a lot of people like to say that these are just tattoos. No, I don't think so. I think this is bullet holes and uh, scars on him, which makes him really bad. Check him out. He's got battle damage. But anyway, that's what he looks like underneath his shirt. 
So here are my two spades, uh, spade J figures standing side by side. The custom one that I threw together and the original, I guess this is the second version of him, even though they say it's the third because the second one hasn't actually come out yet where he's all dressed up in black and he's got like a trench coat and stuff like that. But apparently this is the second version. Now, like I said, this is a, a convention exclusive and it was limited to 300. I think it was only sold in China. Um, but anyway, they're starting to trickle around to different stores all over the world. So hopefully you can find one. I got a good deal on this one. It was expensive, but I got a good deal. But uh, it was the cheapest I'd ever seen it, so I snagged it. And it didn't, it took like a week to get here. It wasn't bad at all. And I love it. Now, the body is super stiff, because like I said, had I bought that other one, I don't know if its body would have been stiff or anything like that. It might have been new. See, it could have been scratched up, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this one's brand new, fresh out of the package, and I have no complaints whatsoever. He looks amazing. So anyway, that's my review, sort of. Yeah. Like I said, I just point the camera at it and I go, look, there he is. And there's another one. And he's angry. Anyway, I hope you liked today's review. And you know what? I'm very happy with this purchase. I never thought I would have an original Spade J. I was more than content with this one. I think he looks okay. I wish I had, like, his original body and hands and stuff like that. But I'm, you know, I was more than happy just having the head. He looks Cool. Now, this one over here, fully dressed and, you know, kitted out and stuff like that, he looks amazing, and I'm glad I have him. And, and like I said, he's in probably way better condition than this one is, because this one's body feels a little loose, but not, not bad. Not, not bad at all, actually. This one's not that bad, but this one over here feels super stiff, and you can tell it's brand new, and I love it. So... I hope you enjoyed today's review. It was a lot of reviews, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Jurassic Park trailer review, and it was a Spade Jack review. And now that the Foo Bar is open for business, be sure to put any question you have down there. I won't read them, but I might look at them. I'll just kind of glance, and I'll go, eh, somebody wrote something. Anyway, if you have any questions for me, you know, real questions. Come on, don't ask stupid stuff like, hey, where'd you buy that hat? Because I'm not going to tell you, because it's a cool hat, and it's my hat. But anyway, if you have any questions, just put them down below and I'll ignore them. So, 